Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, we'll do a couple of tests here. Uh, we're going to test some color. Just testing the color with ver various different uh, paused uh, videos. They're recommended from uh, various different outlets, Panasonic and other brands. What I'm basically trying to do here, I'm just trying to compare the color to see how the color is on the QLED versus the OLED. And I pretty much am familiar with how the results are going to be, but I'm going to kind of like go back and forth and just uh, give you my opinion on it, give you my, uh, uh, if you will, five cents on it. So let's get started. All right, so this is a 55-inch Samsung QLED television. And of course, you know, one of the caveats of the QLED, it's, the higher peak brightness, you know, uh, on top of the uh, quantum dot technology that's built into it, which gives it a much higher spectrum of colors. And it looks bright, it looks more vivid, obviously. Now let's uh, use the same image and let's go back to the uh, OLED. My E855 inch OLED. Now this is OLED, uh, this is what they call a, a, a luxuriant green. Uh, is it brighter than the QLED? Of course, it's not brighter than the QLED, but the one thing that you will notice on the OLED is you're gonna notice a much more redefined uh, black digital levels, you know. It's going to be hard for you to see this through a camera, but I'm just giving you my perspective. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm looking at it. I'm giving you my perspective. Let's jump into uh, QLED again. Okay, here we are with the QLED. And I know, uh, guys, I just want to let you know that it will be difficult for you to uh, judge this through a camera. But yes, you know, QLED is brighter. It is brighter, and, and I can clearly see it here. But in all honesty, sometimes, you know, if you weren't watching this from an angle, uh, it would be really hard to, to see a difference, honestly. Let's move on to a next uh, segment here. All right, so let's look at this again. Uh, this is uh, luxuriant green again. And, uh, of course, it looks brighter on the QLED, there's no question about that. But let's check out the OLED. Let's see what the OLED uh, it's doing right now. Let's switch to the OLED. Well, of course, uh, it's not as bright as the QLED, but of course, you get to see a much better definition of the, the black digital levels here. But let's be honest, in my honesty, you really would be hard pressed to like see a significant, significant drastic difference the only significant drastic difference is going to be obviously the uh, black digital levels on the uh, OLED and of course the highest peak brightness on the QLED and the viewing angle obviously all right so we're going to switch to another segment here this is the uh, OLED we're switching to our uh, pink a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple and let's switch to the uh, QLED really quick. But listen, uh, I'll tell you, this is QLED right now. I'll tell you guys, uh, it's still it's still very impressive uh, what QLED is doing uh, with their LCD, LED, backlit, quantum dot televisions. You know, sure, granted, they don't have those picture-perfect uh, black digital levels, but they got a lot of other things going on for it. You know, you don't have to worry about the burn-in. And you got a really near, uh, damn good uh, near picture quality that you would get with the OLED as well. Here's the OLED from uh, an angle. Of course, the, the black digital levels here are uh, picture perfect. The, the best viewing angle you can get. We all get that. And uh, this is QLED. This is not bad for QLED. Listen, guys, what Samsung's doing with QLED is pretty darn good, uh, in my opinion looking at this comparison right now so anyway what do you guys think let me know down below what do you think